Helen of Troy, the catalyst of the Trojan War. Helen of Troy, often called the face that launched a thousand ships, is a legendary figure whose beauty sparked the infamous Trojan War. This epic tale of love, betrayal and war delves into her origins, the conflict she ignited, and her enduring legacy in mythology and history. Origins and marriage, Helen of Troy, whose beauty was set to rival that of the gods, has had her story told and retold through the ages. She is often called the face that launched a thousand ships, a testament to her role in sparking the Trojan War. To understand Helen's place in history and myth, we must first explore her origins and the world she was born into. Helen was born as Helen of Sparta, the daughter of Leda, the Spartan queen, and Zeus, the king of the gods, who had taken the form of a swan to seduce Leda. This divine lineage endowed Helen with extraordinary beauty, making her the most beautiful woman in the world. Her birth was part of a larger myth involving her siblings Clytemnestra, Castor, and Pollux. Each of these figures would go on to play significant roles in Greek mythology, but none would be as famous or as influential as Helen. From a young age, Helen's beauty was apparent to all who saw her. Her presence was enchanting, and tales of her unparalleled looks spread quickly across Greece. Suitors from all corners of the region, including princes, warriors, and kings, flocked to Sparta to seek her hand in marriage. This overwhelming attention created a potential for conflict among these powerful men. Fearing that the competition for Helen's hand could lead to bloodshed, her stepfather, King Tyndareus, sought a solution. Guided by the clever Odysseus, he devised a plan to prevent any disputes. He made all the suitors swear an oath to protect whoever Helen chose as her husband, and to come to his aid if she was ever taken. This oath, known as the Oath of Tyndareus, was meant to ensure peace and avoid conflict among the suitors. They all agreed to the terms, hoping to be the fortunate one chosen by Helen. In the end, Helen chose Menelaus, a prince of Mycenae, and the younger brother of Agamemnon, the most powerful king in Greece. Menelaus's selection seemed to secure peace, but the oath sworn by the suitors would soon lead to unprecedented conflict. The other suitors left the wedding, unaware that the very promise they made to avoid war would set the stage for the largest conflict they would ever witness. The prophecy in the Golden Apple, across the Aegean Sea, in the ancient city of Troy, King Priam ruled over a prosperous and fortified city. Among his many children was Prince Paris, whose birth was accompanied by a dire prophecy. Before Paris was born, a prophecy foretold that he would bring destruction to Troy. Fearing this fate, Priam's wife, Queen Hecuba, handed the infant Paris to a shepherd to be killed. However, the shepherd couldn't bring himself to do it and instead raised Paris as his own son. Years later, during a grand wedding on Mount Olympus, Eris, the goddess of discord, was excluded from the celebrations. In her anger, she threw a golden apple inscribed with to the most beautiful into the gathering, sparking a fierce dispute among the goddesses Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite. To avoid offending any of them, Zeus appointed Paris, now a shepherd known for his fairness, to judge the contest. Each goddess offered Paris a tempting bribe. Hera promised power and kingship. Athena offered wisdom and military prowess, and Aphrodite promised the love of the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen of Sparta. Swayed by the promise of love, Paris chose Aphrodite. This decision set in motion a chain of events that would lead to the Trojan War. Aphrodite instructed Paris to travel to Sparta and find Helen. Upon meeting they fell in love, and Helen abandoned her husband Menelaus to elope with Paris to Troy. This act of betrayal ignited a firestorm of conflict. As Menelaus called upon the oath sworn by Helen's suitors demanding their aid in retrieving his wife and avenging his honor, thus the stage was set for the legendary Trojan War. Helen's abduction and the outbreak of war. Helen's abduction by Paris was not just a personal betrayal but a political affront that demanded retribution. Menelaus, humiliated and enraged, invoked the oath taken by Helen's suitors. This oath, originally intended to prevent conflict, now bound the greatest warriors and kings of Greece to his cause. Among these were Agamemnon, the most powerful king in Greece, and Menelaus's brother, who eagerly took up the call to arms. Agamemnon saw the war as an opportunity to expand his influence and secure his legacy. The Greek forces, led by Agamemnon, assembled a vast armada. Central to their strategy was the inclusion of Achilles, the greatest warrior of the age. Achilles was believed to be invincible, having been dipped in the river Styx by his mother Thetis, rendering him impervious to harm except for his heel. His presence was crucial, as his prowess on the battlefield was unmatched. The Greeks set sail with a thousand ships, aiming to besiege the city of Troy and retrieve Helen. The city of Troy, renowned for its formidable walls built by the gods, stood as a symbol of impregnable defense. 
King Priam Paris's father, welcomed Helen, mesmerized by her beauty, and the citizens of Troy were equally captivated, however Hector Paris's brother and Troy's greatest warrior, foresaw the impending disaster. He recognized that Menelaus and the Greeks would stop at nothing to reclaim Helen and avenge their honor. Upon their arrival, the Greeks laid siege to Troy, initiating a prolonged and brutal conflict. The Trojan War, as it came to be known, dragged on for a decade. Despite numerous attempts, the Greeks were unable to breach Troy's walls. The war was marked by legendary battles, shifting alliances, and heroic deeds, but a decisive victory remained elusive. The siege and key events, as the war stretched into its tenth year, the Greeks faced mounting frustration and internal discord. Achilles, angered by a dispute with Agamemnon, withdrew from the fighting, significantly weakening the Greek forces. The Trojans, led by Hector, took advantage of this moment of vulnerability, launching successful counterattacks and pushing the Greeks back. In a bid to end the war, a duel was proposed between Menelaus and Paris to determine Helen's fate. The duel, fought under the watchful eyes of both armies, highlighted the stark contrast between the warrior Menelaus and the shepherd prince Paris. Paris, outmatched and nearly defeated, was saved by Aphrodite who spirited him away from the battlefield. This act, while preserving Paris's life, further tarnished his honor and weakened Helen's affection for him. Amidst the chaos, Achilles' closest friend Patroclus donned Achilles' armor and led the Greeks into battle, hoping to inspire them. Patroclus's valor turned the tide, but he was ultimately slain by Hector. Achilles, consumed by grief and rage, returned to the battlefield to avenge his friend. His duel with Hector was fierce and relentless, culminating in Hector's death. Achilles, in his fury, desecrated Hector's body, dragging it behind his chariot before the walls of Troy, a scene that horrified both the Trojans and the Greeks. King Priam, displaying immense courage and sorrow, ventured into the Greek camp to beg Achilles for his son's body. Moved by Priam's plea, Achilles relented and returned Hector's body, allowing the Trojans to mourn their fallen hero. This poignant moment underscored the deep humanity amid the brutality of war. The fall of Troy following Hector's death, the Greeks devised a cunning strategy to finally breach Troy's walls. They constructed a massive wooden horse, ostensibly as a peace offering, and left it outside the city gates before pretending to sail away. The Trojans, believing the Greeks had conceded defeat, brought the horse into the city as a trophy of their victory. However, hidden inside were Greek soldiers who emerged at night to open the gates for the returning Greek forces. The fall of Troy was swift and devastating. The Greeks poured into the city, slaughtering its inhabitants and setting fire to its buildings. King Priam was killed, and Paris met his end in the chaos. Helen, terrified and seeking refuge, was found by Menelaus. Despite his anger and the destruction wrought by her abduction, Menelaus was captivated by Helen's beauty once more. He chose to spare her, taking her back to Sparta, where they lived out their remaining years together. Helen's legacy, Helen of Troy's story is one of beauty, betrayal, and war. Her abduction by Paris not only triggered the Trojan War, but also set in motion a series of events that would shape the course of Greek mythology and literature. Throughout history, Helen's role in the war has been debated. Some view her as a manipulative and disloyal figure, while others see her as a pawn used by the gods in their divine games. Regardless of these interpretations, Helen's legacy endures. Her beauty, often depicted as both a gift and a curse, played a pivotal role in one of the most famous conflicts in mythology. The Trojan War, with its tales of heroism, tragedy, and the capriciousness of the gods, continues to captivate audiences, ensuring that Helen of Troy's story remains a timeless timeless narrative of the ancient world.